Welcome back. Well, tomorrow is Earth Day, and here to talk about sustainable energy sources are our friends from NOCO Energy. Pierre Alberton and Brian Posner, thank you so much for coming by. All right, thank you for having us. Okay, let's start off by just giving our viewers who may not know the background of NOCO Energy and how you guys got started. Sure. Uh, so uh, this year we're actually celebrating our 90th year. We started in 1933 as a coal distributor. And uh, we've transitioned over the years to many different forms of energy. And today we're happily uh, making many investments in sustainable technology. So tomorrow, like we said, is Earth Day. So what are the minds of NOCO Energy doing for those that are looking for different sorts of energy sources? Sure. Well, it, it may seem odd that uh, NOCO being in, uh, in a conventional energy supplier is involved in Earth Day. And uh, although most of our uh, revenue comes from conventional energy, most of our investments are in sustainable technology and energy. So we're really thrilled to be part of Earth Day and kind of showcase what we're doing with organic recycling, food upcycling, and uh, renewable energy. And a lot of our residents and our viewers probably recognize you guys from the gas stations, right? Sure, Tell sure. Tell us about that. We're four years removed from uh, selling our 38 stores, I believe. And uh, much of that was meant to help uh, with our investments in sustainable technology. And although we're committed to powering the community today, we are preparing tomorrow, and, and, and that's the, the direction that we're going in. Now, in the 90s, you guys began recycling used motor oils. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. And uh, to date, I believe we're at 15 million gallons wow. of recycled oil. That is incredible. Yeah. So, you know, it's not too weird to see you guys here to talk about Earth Day because you guys are doing your part to make sure that we're putting out clean energy. Yeah, and we have a number of events uh, scheduled for tomorrow. Yeah, do you want to talk about them? Absolutely. So you can go to Reinstein Woods, the Erie Botanical Gardens, the Buffalo Zoo, uh, Temple Beth Zion. They're all having a great Earth Day events, um, and there are quite a few others that are going on around Buffalo as well. Can you talk a little bit about what people can expect if they go to some of these events? Sure. So uh, there's going to be a lot of focus on EVs this year. It looks like a lot of the events are either having meets and Q&As with EV owners. Uh, a lot of them are focusing on the pollinators. You know, we have to make sure we save the bees and uh, making sure you know how to promote biodiversity at your home and your lawn and your garden, etc. Okay, so you also do and uh, began a new venture in composting. Do you want to tell us about how you got started and why? Yeah, in uh, 2021, we acquired Buffalo River Composting, and to date, we're at 17,000 pounds of, or tons, I'm sorry, of food waste and organics that have been diverted from landfills. So what we do is we take that food waste and uh, landscaping material, and it, through a, a six-month process, it's turned into compost. Uh, we also do mulch, and all that is meant to keep food waste out of landfills and uh, uh, avoid the methane that's released. I visited that compost site right I back remember. in October when we were encouraging people to uh, donate their jack-o'-lanterns mm -hmm. that have expired by the end. <laughs> you know, over to you guys to kind of, you know, be composted and resourced properly. Mm -hmm. And today, many of those pumpkins are actually part of the product that's being sold to the public at. Uh, uh, area uh, greeneries and uh, through our, our website. So it's going back into people's gardens. Definitely. Can you talk a little bit more about the compost? Because I remember you telling me some really cool facts about how hot it gets, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in order for it to be, you know, true compost where, you know, some of the pathogens and some of the uh, uh, bacteria are removed from there, it has to get to a certain temperature. It's 160 degrees. And that happens naturally. That, that's nature doing its work. Uh, through the pile. So uh, through a six month process, it uh, takes again that food waste and organics, turns it into compost, goes back into your fields. And uh, you know, a stat that's out there that, that was really surprising to me is in the US landfills, most of what's in the landfill is food waste by percentage and it's 24%. So we're doing our part to try to keep uh, as much of it out of area landfills as we can. Absolutely. It's kind of crazy to hear that when we know about how much hunger there is in our communities at the same time, right. simultaneously. Right. Now, you guys also started something called River Road Research. Tell us more about that. Sure. So River Road Research is a really exciting investment. Um, we're working with the black soldier fly larva. And what's really interesting about those is they're also a way to divert food waste from the landfill. They uh, it can exclusively live on food waste like beer mash from 
breweries, uh, breads and different organics that are coming from Wegmans or big grocery stores. This is a great way for them to keep their food waste out of the landfill and we can uh, have these bugs live on it. They grow 2,000 times their size in a very short period. Oh wow, very interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. And you guys also offer a variety of energy sources. That's why you're so focused on Earth Day because you care about the sustainable energy at NOCO, right? We really do. Again, it's a commitment for, for powering the community and our customers today, but we, we want to prepare for tomorrow. We want to be there for the types of energy and technology that our customers are looking for. So we're involved in, in solar, in wind, and uh, various other technology forms to, to help people uh, to, to meet their green initiatives. But, you know, again, we still have, you know, our customers that we have today. So we still do natural gas and, and propane electricity. And you, last time you guys were on our show, you talked about a new initiative, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So geothermal is a new initiative we've been working on. It's the process of exchanging heat with the ground rather than the outside air, which results in an annual heating and cooling bill of just a couple hundred bucks instead of, say, a couple thousand. That is so pertinent to right now, right? We're finally getting that warm weather. We had a little second winter, mm -hmm. but it's coming right. back now. It's okay, the warm weather, and hopefully that warm weather continues. We're gonna be putting on our ACs soon enough, right? Mm -hmm. And you guys are helping people to save a lot more money with that. Right, right, yeah, uh, geothermal can be used for cooling as well, so it's heating and cooling. And uh, for those that still have traditional system as heating or air conditioning uh, season is right around the corner, it's important to get your system uh, checked in service by a certified technician, uh, change out filters to make sure that when that system kicks on that it's not working too hard. Absolutely. Well, happy Earth Day to you guys, and thanks so much for what you're doing and continuing to do. If you would like to learn more about the variety of energy services offered, you can head over to their website at noco.com. Thank you again for coming in. Thank you, Elsie.